went back to my horseback riding, hunting, fishing, gathering wood, sleigh ride, chasing horses, all that. That was a great life. Went on like that. Then I still had a lot of fun. The Columbia River was flowing. There was no such a thing as a dam. We had salmon run. We had our fishing hole. That was a lot of fun. Nowadays, after I'm too old to realize what the world was about, it's a beautiful place to live in. The food is out there in front of you, to your right and to your left. And what you pass, your friends and neighbors comes by and they also feed on that. And that's what hurts me now. I think that is just my thing. From the top of Alaska to the bottom tip of South America. That was all my land, all my food, all my fruit, and my game, fish, and all streams. I didn't have to plant all my food, no. The Creator planted everything for me. I don't have to cultivate it. I don't have to spray it with insecticide. Now, as I, I realized what the world was about today, I don't think I'm too late yet. I think now that it's my, my job to instruct my two boys and my relatives, the young people, what the world is about. I appreciate my two boys. They were pretty rough men when they first grew up. Now, I am proud of uh, where I am sitting here today, right in front of me there. They're fixing up a place where they can gather their people for meetings, war dance, stick game, whatever. Feet, whatever. You should thank the world, the sun, the moon, the snow, Everything that's created on this earth has a purpose. Even the rock has a purpose. I guess we all have the same title to the earth, even the birds, the animals. The trees, the grass, the everything has the same title as I have. According to an Indian belief that when you hit the earth, 
You have a title in your right hand to the earth, to everything that is created. You have that title. No matter what religion, what class you are, what color you are, we all have that same title. We all have the same air to breathe. And our main backbone, I look from my window here, from my table, I look out and see the old Columbia River flowing. Wherever it comes from, never empty. Wherever it wins, never filled up. That's the main backbone of the world. And my two boys here are trying to eliminate all of this young death suicide, going to jail, going to reformatory, and all that, because they come through that. And they turn back. They know what a, a good time is. A pleasant gathering, bingo game, war dance, stick game, foul, feast, ceremony. And I'm proud of them. They're trying to retrieve the old culture. And when they get stuck on something, they ask me, what, what was this? What it meant? What it was for? If I know it, I tell them. I can't believe that. Some of them will get right here on my own backyard in my own res reservation. Some of them get so stressed they blow their heads off. Some of them will drink that intoxicating liquor and they rat, kill themselves, young people when they have a chance to live 30, 40 years. But I guess there's no ending to that. I know here a while back, during when I was young, the United States government tried to dry the country, forbid the liquor. Everybody was making their own brew. Everybody was making their own whiskey. They learned how. Even the government couldn't stop. So we're, we are trying to talk to our people. It's more fun going skating, going hunting, going fishing, picking berries, getting your winter's wood, 
everything is joyful. Everything is made to enjoy. There's nothing in this creation that's made against you. No. And we have, us Indians, we have five ceremonies a year. We have four for the food. We have one for everything. That's our religion. It's gradually coming back now. Pretty soon, after the first of the year, we're going to open up, the boys is going to have their winter ceremony, their prayers for the coming year, for the fruit, the gain, the fruit, everything to be plentiful. That's what we pray for. I feel pretty bad the way I am treated. The Indian is considered a low class of people. I don't know. I don't think there's no such a thing as a low class of people. We all have that same title. We all breathe the same air. How can it be low class? I have more respect for all the mothers in the world because if it wasn't mother, I wouldn't be sitting here talking. Thank you. Why, Lindley? He's Quilquilis Tiayat Shwikiko Nichlum. I'll interpret that. This what I said. Whoever listens to this tape, please listen to it and think for yourself. Think for your neighbor. Think for everybody. May the Creator take care of you.